welcome back to the self series and today we are going to discuss on the self with bigger s so it's nothing but the uh, current type it refers to the type and when we are using it with protocol self refers to the type that conform to the protocol example string or integer also uh, it can be uh, used as a placeholder as well so whenever we are using since it, it represents the type, it represents the class which is using it. Uh, whenever we are using a static function or a method, we can use the self instead of the class name. So uh, we will see that in two basic examples and then I will share two examples, two use cases where uh, which you can use in your current code and make it handy. Uh, so let's jump into the code the next example for the self with bigger s if you see in this example a very simple one uh, we have a class called as movie places and then we have two variables one is the static count and the other is the where count one so this is a normal instance variable and the other is the static one so when we uh, put static keyword it means that this variable can be accessed directly with the uh, class name dot count because it works on types rather than the object so uh, but this count is a part of this current instance and that is why uh, we can use the self here but what if if we try to use self here you will see that it will complain and rather it will ask us to use movie places instead so this is how we have been doing it at many places in the coding even if we have some function we can directly call with the class name if we have say for example a function a static function abc oh, so we can directly call this function like uh, we can call this from here like movie places dot abc so we do we don't need to create the instance like this okay we can directly call it so that is what static is all about and like we have uh, already discussed that the self with bigger s is a placeholder so you can see that instead of this move place we can also use self here because self represents the current type which is the movie places so it is acting as a placeholder as well let's move to the another example for uh, self I uh, found this code from the internet on the stack overflow and I thought it's worthy to share with you all so I copy pasted from there so it shows the use of both bigger self and small self so you can see uh, it's an extension of integer and we are creating a variable here which is of type self and then it's returning self plus hundred so what does this self mean here whichever variable integer variable will be using this add function that will become the self what I mean is let me first make this as integer so now this count one is an integer uh, variable so this means it has the access because it is in the extension of integer and this is an integer so it has the access to add method okay so now here self is count one because count one is an integer and it is using the add so at the moment it count one is the self okay so let me print this here uh, like this and let's see what happens you can see the result is 102 because it's 100 plus 2 102 so this is okay but why do we need this again the question comes so this is again acting as a placeholder because we already know that self is a placeholder and also it represents the type. So it is representing this type which is integer. So we can do like this also. You can see the same result. So it's basically representing the type and it's a placeholder to the another example and I, th and I think this can be one of the use cases where you can use self uh, say for example I have a protocol called as shape colors it has got uh, three 
functions uh, prototype which is like square default color circle default color hexagon default color okay now uh, <clears throat> then in extensions what i do is i implement these uh, functions prototype so i say that okay uh, i'm returning it as red i'm returning this as blue and this as green so now if you look closely here what we are doing is we are returning the cell this means we are trying to return the type of shape colors and then we have declared here that where self is ui color okay so what if if i say self is ui view you will see that this will say it will always fail because this is not an ui view okay so which is why we have made this as uh, self as ui color this means the type should be ui color and then it this can be used wherever ui color is used so how it can be used is you can see the extension you must be doing this in your projects where you are declaring the theme colors and the other button colors and there may be 50 60 or maybe 100 uh, colors you have defined there so you can straight away write like this as also like uh, ui color dot red this will also work but where this thing can come handy is when you have 50 60 or maybe 100 type of themes on colors defined here and then it becomes sometimes difficult to find out where this is written so you can write this as one stop uh, protocol and extensions or one stop implementation where the developer can directly come here uh, and he knows that okay shape colors are coming from here even though we are assigning it in the extensions here but we can go to this extension and we can just modify whatever we like here in the default colors so this can be handy when you have a lot of theme colors and other colors in the extensions now uh, think for example i have one extension for ui view and then i try to use it here it will yes it will give error because this is the extension for view and the type which it is expecting here it is ui color even though it represents shape colors but we have defined here that it should be of ui color type so this is where you can use self so you can similarly you can create this for ui uh, view as well you can declare self as ui view and then you can define your views custom views here and return it uh, i have been using this uh, from a long time now so uh, if you see here in example four the uh, i have made one protocol called this connect board and then created one get instance which has a return type of self which is like it is expecting a connect board self return so now in the extension again i declared here that where self should be of type view controller this means it is expecting a view controller here in the return and whichever like in the integer functions i told you that whichever integer is using it it becomes a current uh, for it similarly whichever view controller will be using it it will become the current and it will be described as self so it will this statement what it will do is it will pick the view controller which is using this function name okay it will pick the identifier for that view controller okay and then we are just casting it to self because that is what we are expecting here self to be ui view controller okay so this is what i was doing inside the uh, when i'm navigating you see here i'm using this in view controller one i'm using this connect board protocol and then i'm calling from here like this u1 controller dot get instance so this get instance i'm getting from that protocol only from here so this is how i'm uh, instantiating the storyboard and it's a very handy way to handle the uh, creating instances of storyboard and view controller through identifiers
okay so uh, considering the size of the video i'm stopping it here and we'll continue to the next dot type and dot self in the next part so if you like this video do comment like and subscribe thank you for watching this video